Um, well, good morning, everyone. Uh, this morning we have a lovely drive through this, uh, what they call it, the oak forest, the desert oak forest, uh, down to the next well, and then probably a little bit more um, beyond there. Uh, then you have to, everyone has to get out of their car and apologise to their shock absorbers because <laughs> after that there is going to be uh, a fair bit of vibration until well past uh, Kanawarichi. Um, it will be it will be a, a big test for them and for the Tico suspension on the trailer. Before then we get to um, uh, we'll get to well 35, which holds great significance to the local Aboriginal people because it's uh, a place where people are buried. So there's a you'll notice on the map there's a a, um, an exclusion, not an exclusion area, but a, uh, a particular uh, reference to to that particular well on the map. Then we get to, we'll get to eventually get to kind of uh, or well 33 first, where we'll fill up with water, hopefully, depending on how the water supply is, hopefully. and uh, and then to kind of we will get some supplies and some diesel. Uh, interestingly, I was just been reading kind of was formed uh, was was only been around since the mid 80s and. Uh, there was a disaster in yeah, about that time when 11 Aboriginal people died through thirst and the government uh, decided to put bores in various places so this wouldn't happen again. One of the places they did that was Wall 33 and they put the tank there at that, that particular time and a community built up around the, around the tank so um, that's why it's, uh, it's here now. Uh, after that after we've spent some time there, we'll head on down, hopefully, towards well 30, uh, 31. 32 isn't particularly good for camping, it's a bit open. There is a soak before well 31, so we might stop there, or we'll go on to well 31 and camp there, which has got some white gums around it and apparently is more pleasant for camping. Uh, so, it should be a really interesting day through some really lovely country, and uh, notwithstanding the corrugations around well 33. And, above and beyond. <laughs> so, so yeah, so rattle on. Here, here we go. Here we go for the big day. Go. Go. And we are off the track. Uh, 
Uh, Jim, we're off the track and stopped. Okay, we'll come up to you. Uh, while, while we're parked, we might as well just have a bit of morning tea. So, It looks like the canopy doors come open and the canopy doors hit the tree here and the end result. We're proceeding, but there are three other vehicles coming in, um, what we'll is call out. There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool, Rick. <laughs> Thank you. Adventure is our new suspension that we're testing. Yeah, right. That's awesome. For trailers and caravans, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, a dual axle caravan. Right. How's that going? Yeah. Structurally, it's fine. Yeah. But cosmetic is not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we're all feeling a bit like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, if you like your car's paint, then don't come. <laughs> no, this is going to get a respray when I get later. It's like yeah. that, isn't it? Yeah, it is, absolutely. <laughs> Do it my way. <laughs> Thank you. 
Don William. That's Bob Sager. Right. Oh, so. What can we do about a gardening here? Uh, yeah, but... Just not check. Open outside the wild animal. Yeah. Flaps.